Yeah, Bilal is a nice uh, young guy who is uh, really talented as a football player. He likes uh, fun in the dressing room uh, around the, the young players from, from the academy, let's say, because they can speak and laugh in Dutch. Patrick is a very nice guy on and off the pitch. Uh, he has a lot of experience. He helps the young guys a lot and uh, that's very important for us. Hey. Hey, Pat. How are you? I'm good too. You're Everything good. fine? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to start with the questions, yeah? Okay, it's good. What interests do you have besides football? Are the things that uh, fascinated you? Yes, uh, I love a lot uh, futsal. Uh, I have uh, many friends that uh, are playing futsal in uh, first division in, play in uh, Belgium. I, uh, I go sometimes uh, in Brussels, in Antwerp to, to watch their games and uh, yes, it's very nice. Yeah, but it's still uh, some kind of sports. It's something else what uh, fascinated you like uh, movies or books or whatever. Uh, I love uh, playing PlayStation with friends. And which kind of games you you playing? I play uh, FIFA. So it's again football. football yes. Yeah. What is the most difficult thing about being a professional footballer? Well, it's a, it's a really good question. Let's start with the with the good one. The good thing is that uh, you can do what uh, you are doing from let's say early age because a lot of us starts uh, as a kids and uh, you are doing still uh, the thing what you what you love the most from from the streets and playing with the friends to be in the dressing room laugh with the friends and uh, and uh, also get paid for it because it's your passion and uh, what i don't like is a social abusement about it because uh, there is a lot of people who are uh, hidden like for uh, like an anonymous and they they try to to disrupt uh, the you and team and and a lot of things around so this one I don't like for you uh, to keep your money and uh, not to give it uh, all to to clothes to to when you go out with friends I think that's the most difficult of course because uh, now when you become going become a top everybody wants to be your friend yes that's true, uh, but uh, I think uh, I will keep uh, the same friends because uh, they were there at the start. So I want that uh, they stay with me for the rest of my career. Yeah, for me it's the same. I have a lot of I have the best friends from from the early age, also from the from the school. Let's say yeah. When did you know you would become a professional footballer, and how did you achieve that? Uh, I started football at uh, at the age of, of four uh, with friends. And uh, then at the age of four, I went to, to a football club in, uh, in Brussels, Scarbeck. I played there for, for six months. And then after uh, Anderlecht uh, picked me up and uh, I went to, uh, to Anderlecht. I worked hard for, for 10 years at Anderlecht. And uh, then I had uh, a good uh, opportunity to, to go to, to Genk. Uh, I worked hard at, at Genk also. And then uh, last year, uh, I played with the uh, under 21s, I played youth league, I played very well in youth league and uh, then uh, the coach of last year he picked me up in the first team and uh, he gave me my chance uh, at the end of the season and so yes then uh, I knew I will uh, become a professional footballer and uh, I gave uh, I gave all. I feel I feel good here uh, at Genk. I am uh, of I, course around us it's fine. Yes, huh? yeah, it's very fine uh, around uh, players like you like uh, like Brian like uh, Mike and uh, yes, I'm very happy here. Yeah, but did you did you know that from the from the early age that you would like to become a, f a pro? Or when uh, you're four or five, okay, it's your dream. But uh, you are not thinking at the age of four or five to play uh, as a professional in front of uh, twenty thousand uh, fans, you know. But uh, when you are coming at the age of fifteen, sixteen, you are thinking more about this. And uh, yes, you have become a father. In which way did the birth of your son Alexander change your life? Uh, it uh, changed my life in, in, a, in a positive way because uh, once you become a father, it's something uh, what you couldn't experience before, or in, there are emotions what you only can feel when you when you become a parent, I think, and uh, and uh, gives you more like responsibility to for another life to 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 bring the, your ideas or or your way of thinking to, to, to another person and to help him 
um, grow up and educate and, and uh, you would like to try to to be a good example for him and now when you see see your your son growing up and uh, how he learns everything it's 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 really amazing yes uh, <laughs> i'm 18 i don't have <laughs> but i uh, you will i think you will experience it in the future yes. but it's difficult to describe the feeling you you have to experience it and uh, then then you can talk more about it i think how do you prepare for a game and uh, do you have uh, any any rituals before the games I don't have uh, a ritual before the game, but uh, I sleep uh, early the day before the game, so I can rest enough. And then before the game, I uh, I listen uh, Quran. You know, I'm Muslim. Yeah. This, uh, I, it, it brings me to calm. So it's a kind of ritual. Yes. Yeah, let's say yeah. And a little bit, but uh, yes, it was in a family. It is in a family, and uh, yes, I will keep it for, for the rest of my life. Yeah, of course, it's nice. So it helps you to to become calm and um, be more prepared for the game? Yes, it, it helps me to become calm and also to, to reach my goals. I think that goal, that God uh, helps me a lot in what I'm uh, achieving, so uh, yes. No, it's good, keep going like this. Uh, yes, for sure. Next question. The team is doing uh, very good this year. Can you explain the differences from last season? Yeah, now it's, uh, now it's really nice and also to speak about it because uh, when the team is doing well, uh, we both are happy, and uh, I think it's a, it's a positive climate in the in the dressing room. Uh, also, uh, the the new staff uh, brought us uh, really clear idea what uh, what we want to want, what we want to do on the pitch and also off the pitch. And uh, we are trying to to follow follow the ideas. And uh, at the moment, it goes like we all want to, but uh, the season is still long. So I believe that. Uh, We'll keep on going like this and, and uh, we can achieve something uh, big at the end of the season. Yes, I hope for sure. Uh, do people recognize you on the street? How do you deal with uh, all the attention? Uh, yes, sometimes uh, when I go to the supermarket uh, in Genk or in Brussels, sometimes uh, some people ask uh, photos or pictures or videos or, you know. And uh, yes, for me, it's not a problem. Yeah, it's nice, at the, uh, especially in Genk, a lot of people know you because it's not a big city. Yeah? I know uh, where I came from. I came from nothing, you know. No, uh, I'm playing in the first team. So, yes, uh, they give me respect, so I have to give respect back. And uh, yes, that's the most important. How was it with you when you were, yeah, when you were young? You also went to, the, to the, some players which, uh, which were playing in the top league or, and you wanted photo or something? Yes, yes. Uh, when I played at Anderlecht, I went uh, always to, to the training of, of the first team and uh, I made always uh, pictures with uh, Mbach Busufa. Yeah, okay, nice. <laughs> and now you are the, the model for, for the young kids. Yes. It's nice, huh? It's always like this. Ah, it's the question about the World Cup. You have chosen to play for Morocco. Can you explain explain that choice? Yes, I followed my heart. Uh, I played for Belgium uh, on the 15, on the 16, on the 17, on the 18. And then, yes, I had the opportunity to play for Morocco. And uh, my great parents, they, uh, they came from Morocco. I want to, to make them proud. And uh, that's why uh, I want to play for Morocco. And uh, yes, I'm looking forward to the World Cup. I don't know if, uh, if the coach will call me up, so we will see, but uh, every choice he will make, I will accept it. World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Slovakia didn't qualify for the World Cup. How will you experience the World Cup? Uh, yeah, like you said, we didn't qualify, so uh, I will have some days uh, for vacation. Probably I will, I will go to, to Dubai with my family and then I will, I will watch some games and uh, yeah, we have some teammates and maybe you will go there. So I will support the, the teams or our friends to to World Cup and uh, hopefully to see you also there. Okay, because uh, if I don't go to the World Cup, we see, uh, we see each other in uh, Dubai. <laughs> okay, so there are two possibilities or nice vacation in Dubai or nice uh, World Cup in Qatar. Yes. So very nice to speak with you, Bilal. Thank you and see you on the pitch. Me too, see you. Hi Patrick, I, I wish you all the best uh, this season. I hope uh, we will have a lot of fun uh, off and uh, on the pitch and uh, I think uh, that we will win uh, a lot of games and so we can make uh, fun after the game with the fans and uh, I wish you all the best with your family. Hi Bilal, you are a really good guy and I wish you 
all the best. Uh, the, the most important thing is uh, that you stay healthy and then the second thing I wish you to, to be selected in the in World Cup for Morocco and then everything what you would like to achieve. <laughs>